Hey guys, this is Balu from Balu Prime and once again welcome you all back for an exciting tutorial. In this tutorial, I will show you how I created this plants growing effect using dynamic paint in Blender easily. So hope you guys will find the tutorial useful but before going to that, if you end up liking this video, please click on that like button to share this content and if you are new to this channel, consider subscribing my channel and support me. So further without any ado, let's begin today's video. So here I am using Blender 2.92, nice. So first of all, we need to have this plant models and also the model which you want to make the plants to grow so here i'm using this skull model so all these models i have downloaded from sketchfab okay so once you got the models select the plant make sure the transform options are zero zero so if i press n on the keyboard you can see the transform options if i go to this transform options you can see the location is not set to zero zero so make sure to do this step before so select the model come to this object apply and all transform so you can see it is set to zero so just repeat the same for rest of these plants also so this step is important make sure the transform settings or transform values are set to zero zero okay so once these transform values are set now let's move them aside here like this okay now let's work on this skull so first of all here we want these plants to be grown on the skull so for that we will be using dynamic paint and particle system. So first work on the dynamic paint. So let me create an echo sphere here. Okay, press S to increase the scaling. So I will increase the scaling here like this. Fine. So now let me animate this one. So let me place this here. Press I on the keyboard for keyframe options and select this location. So that we will get a keyframe added for location. Okay. So now move forward like 220 frames and let me place this above to the skull like this okay now again press i and select this location to add a location keyframe so if i play this we'll get this kind of animation okay nice so now let's apply dynamic paint onto this both objects so first select this echo sphere come to this physics property and apply dynamic paint so echo sphere will set this to brush okay and click on this add brush now select the skull again apply dynamic paint but in type we we'll leave it to canvas and add canvas okay so now scroll down and enable this and aliasing and frame and start i will leave it to 1 to 250 only okay so surface type change it from paint to weight okay so once it is done now come to this output expand it okay now add this vertex group here just click on this plus sign so vertex group will be added okay so now come to this cache so we need to bake this but we need to save first this file in order to get these options enabled so let me save it so here you can see we got this bake enabled so click on this bake so it's baking now so once the baking is done and if i play this animation it seems like nothing is happening it's okay nice so now let's make these plants grow on this skull so in order to make that to happen we'll be using particle system so select the skull come to this particle properties add particle system here and change it to hair so we got hair on the skull okay enable advanced so number i will increase this to 1500 okay so rest and all i will leave like that only now come to this source emit from change it to vertices and use this modifier stack enable that modifier stack okay now enable this hair dynamics also rotation and come to this vertex group now scroll down and come to this vertex group and in length select the group which we have created earlier so select this dp weight okay so now if i play this let me hide out this echo sphere we will have our particles only visible when this echo sphere will be passing this model so here you can see we are getting our particles emitted don't know if you are able to see or not so let me place this i think it's not let me move to the shading viewport okay so now you can see we are getting these particles emitting only when our echo sphere is pass, passing nice so let me move back to this material viewport once again so now let's replace this hair system with these plants so for that let's select all the plants let me align it first so let me select this and let me place it here 
let me place this here okay so the origin point of this plant is here so let's fix that so come to this object set origin origin to geometry repeat the same thing origin to geometry select this plant origin to geometry select this one origin to geometry okay so now select all the plants press ctrl plus g come to this group selection and let me rename this as plants okay so we got all the plants in a group okay now let's select this skull come to this particle system now scroll down to this render options expand it and in render as change it to collection and here select the collection which we have created with the plants so now you can see we got our plants on the skull so let me play this once again now select this ecosphere let me bring it back okay now come to this physics properties and add a force field for that now scroll down and shape let it be point okay and uh, enable this location and rotation also nice so i think rest and all would be fine so this will be the force settings of our ecosphere nice so here let me where is this let me change this source to mesh volume plus proximity okay so let me play this once again let me hide this out so here you can see we got our effect here so if you want to increase the number of count come to this particles select the skull and come to this particle just increase the number here or else you can scroll down and come to this children and enable this interpolated so you'll get some maximum number so i leave it to none only so in this way we can create this kind of plants growing on any object using dynamic paint in blender easily so hope you guys have learned something new from this tutorial if you have learned anything new please like and subscribe my channel to support me so we'll meet in the next video until then signing off take care bye